It's fine. No, it's fine. No, it's great. It's 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 totally fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's totally great. Yeah, we're good. We're totally getting back out of this. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. I just got the comment of nice hair. Of course it's nice. It's 6.30 in the morning on Saturday. Two cups of coffee in. Allison's even awake before noon. And now we're going to go exploring somewhere out there. And by out there, I mean pointing to the map on the computer. North of the 45th parallel. By two degrees. <laughs> Sure volume of stuff I put in this van for one weekend, you'd think I was going to be gone for a week. All right, around two or three on groceries because we got to get more stuff. You know, ice, you got to have ice. The hallmark of civilization. Maybe you know that movie reference. Bet you don't. No. <laughs> Are we really ready to go now? I'm not sure. You're not sure? <laughs> Got everything? I mean, it seems like we have an entire household full of things back there, but... You, you mean we were packed for a weekend like we were packing for a week? Yes. Yes. Or three. <laughs> Life at 15 miles an hour up a excellently maintained road. Someone's cut the trees out of the way. Saw? No, we don't have a saw. Uh, right. Who needs a saw? Well, we might. Apparently. Somebody wants to donate me one of those really cool electric chainsaws so that we don't get stuck up a mountain. That would be awesome. Yes. I hear steel makes the best ones. Hint, hint. 12 seconds later. All right, so remember when I was saying I needed a chainsaw? That would be because I need a chainsaw and a shovel. That's uh, yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's as far as we're going up this road. Amazing how one tree is shaded in enough snow that we can't get through. Damn it. I was really wanting to get to the end of this road. There's a river up here I wanted to try and camp on. It's not happening. This tree, she is impeding my progress. So I'm gonna give me a chainsaw and a whole lot of shovels. I'm not gonna go back and steal the excavator so we can get through the road. No, <laughs> I refuse, no. Oh, come on. If I had a chainsaw. You're no fun. Then I might steal the excavator to pull the tree out of the way and cut the, cut the <laughs> snow out, but no. Bad form. Uh, no, the road's not getting sketchy. No, we're good. No, this is this is all good. It's good. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. No, it's fine. No, it's great. It's 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 totally fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's totally great. Yeah, we're good. We're totally getting back out of this. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Yeah. No, we're good. Oh, another tree. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. Nope, not fine. Not fine. Nope, nope, nope. Everything is awesome. Everything's wonderful. What the hell, nature? It's like you don't want me to get anywhere. This is bullshit. Is there a big friggin' rock? Where'd the big friggin' rock come from? I like the... I put the little plastic signs. Hey, no, there's a rock in the road. No shit. I got little safety signs on the rock. I mean, this rock's like the size of a Subaru. Do not run into this giant rock that's the size of your car in the middle of the road. Jesus. No, I wasn't about to.
about to get out and move that either, no. Oh, I think we're not really anywhere, but we're somewhere. God damn it, Mother Nature. Really? <sighs> Wanted to go through here. All right. We have located the spot for the evening. Creek behind us. It's a little close to the road. Not my favorite, but uh, it's a levelish spot. What are we going to declare this one as? Fort. Side of the hill. Fort. Holy shell, how many times did we have to turn around today? Fort. Holy Fort. hell, how many roadblocks are there? I was going to say Fort Boulder in the road. Fort, tree in the road, boulder in the road, landslide in the road. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Fort, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh yeah, Fort Turnaround. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the one we're going with today. <laughs> After copious napping here at Fort, what the hell is in the road now? Seriously, I mean... <laughs> I have never... Oh, there's mosquitoes. I've never run into that many things in the road in mm -hmm. one adventure. Never. Yeah. It was like the universe was trying to tell us something. Go home, find this spot. Ooh, cars. Don't go so high. Wow, cars. that might be fast enough. I'm loving this spot because the way the wind is blowing, it's pretty much keeping most of the dust off of us. It blows most of it that way. I'm liking that. Dinner tonight. Can I still do it? Can I still do it? There we go. Chicken chili. Yum. Looks way better than that. Tastes way better than that looks. It looks kind of gross. And Allison has tried the Schaffer Hoffen and given it a passing grade, even if it is beer. I'm not a beer girl. It mostly tastes like grapefruit, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. yeah. Yum. When we travel in Leif, we eat poorly. Scraps of anything we can find. Twigs, berries. You know. I make Allison so subsist on dried fruits and jerkies. <laughs> now what, she says. What? She says, now what? We got portable fire that won't set fire to the woods. Sitting here fighting mosquitoes, waiting for the sun to go down. Yep. Or the wind to come up. Wind to wind to come up, sun to go down, mosquitoes to go away. Life is rough. I don't care what anybody says, spam is excellent breakfast material when you're camping. Right? That's the best. You have to cook it right though. Alright, thoughts on Fort, uh, no, you're not going that direction today. I, just, I love how we keep coming up with different names for it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's come on! Perfect. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, my favorite, I think, is Oh No, You Didn't. That. <laughs> Fort, Oh No, You Didn't? Yeah, because you're not going up that road. Uh, I'm still disappointed that we didn't get like a video from the view of the toilet. It's the best, best toilet view <sighs> ever. We can go out and recreate it, but so Leif has a porta potty, and so I, I popped it out this morning for everybody's use, and it's facing the waterfall over here. So it is probably the best toilet view I have ever, ever had. Well, and this spot has like the most amazing dappled shade. So you're kind of sitting in the warm sun. It's like warm dappled shade like, with a spring breeze blowing through yeah. your campsite. Watching the waterfall bubble and gurgle as you poop. <laughs> Do your business. All right, to the road. <laughs> Let's explore. Oh look, it's our friend the rock. I'm so glad they put up those safety gates because I wouldn't have seen that rock without them. Caution, large rock. That's the only thing this is really missing. So last night we picked the spot we picked because we were kind of running out of day and 
we'd explored most of the roads over on this side. And I looked at this one. I'm like, nah, we won't go up that. It just goes up to that one trailhead. And it's just a short little run. It doesn't look like there's anything interesting up there. So we're like, oh, we're, we got a little day. Let's, let's go check that road out just because. I'm driving up to this creek and I see a little road that dives off to the side. And I find a perfect, level, beautiful camp spot. And worse, worse, that's the river right there. So this would have been pull the van up, open the doors, and sleep facing the river all night in a perfect, beautiful, shaded camp spot. Damn it! This is going on the map, and no, I'm not telling anybody, any of y'all where this is at. Well, hell no, mine. How adorable is this? Holy God, that's cool. <laughs> Mountain fed. Woo. Oh, I don't know if I can take this one. What? Yeah. Allison wanted to come splash around in the creek. It's like 15 <laughs> seconds, and she's like, no, it's gone. My feet, I'm dying. Best one's the one who hasn't looked in great. I'm gonna go right over here and I'm just gonna jump in. Dump you. Just gonna jump in and This is pretty cool though. Kind of out in the boonies just found the most amazing swimming hole. You gotta see this. Look at this shit. Is that not awesome? You can barely see this little beach down here that's all perfect. I'm checking that out. Hell, we get to see some cool spots. Somebody's firing in the summer. Wow! I need my fishing pole. This is awesome. Woo. Look at this bullshit. How perfect is that little waterfall right there? Look at that. It's like a fairy home right there. Certified Redneck, there is one rule I have in life. When you see homemade keep out signs, you do not keep going because they mean it. Now, the only thing worse than homemade keep out signs is ones that are misspelled. These ones are not misspelled, but that right there, that is serious. Do not come up this road. We will probably shoot you. Once again, we find ourselves nosing down a road that I may have to back out of because... Jesus Christ, where are we going? It's a circle. What are we doing down here? I don't know. I said there might be a road to the right. And you're like, oh, this little break between the trees? Sure. Does that look as rough as it looks from here? Um, yeah. Okay. Some of it's the lighting. Okay. So after diving down a sketchy ass road, crossing a creek that was exceedingly sketchy, I'm not sure how the car that's already up here made it through, we found a camp spot. And here we are, we've made it to Fort, what should we call this one, Camp? Camp, uh, what road are you going down? Are you sure that's the right road? Can you get over that rock? 
<laughs> Camp, are you sure that's the right road? I think there's a road that goes this way. How's that for a surprise? Wow. You gotta be kidding me. One hell of a one way trip to a watery grave. And completely unexpected. I really wish I had a drone right now. Yeah. Fly a drone up that thing, you can see around the corner. Just for reference, it's the 4th of July. It's hot as hell in the Northwest. I am sitting by a raging waterfall in some moss covered ground, sipping a beer with some reasonably good company. Life is not horrible today. No, no, not at all. There are no mosquitoes right here. Uh-huh. Before I no, no mosquitoes right here. This is amazing. Definitely don't go that way. That, that's bad. What are you mixing? Oh, uh, have a cucumber radish salad. To go with this very outdoors dinner. You gotta eat good when you're risking your life every day, finding waterfalls and trying not to fall off the edge. It's hard work. Sunday morning, take two, otherwise known as Monday of a three day weekend, we find ourselves wandering through the woods on trails unknown, going towards a bridge that may or may not exist. No, we're not gonna get lost, we're fine. We're fine. Giant spiders, no, it's great. All right, pulled up steaks after breakfast. Lovely sausage and oatmeal. My oatmeal was crap. Oatmeal. Sausage was great. Oatmeal was crap. Checking out some trailheads out here. Blanca Lake. Parking lot's actually only got, what, one, two, three, four, like eight cars in it for a change. What was the other one? Crystal? Quartz. Quartz Creek. Yeah, Quartz Creek and... Skekomish. I've never had more voracious mosquitoes attack me ever, including even Eagle Lake, and they were bad there. But now it's time to head back into the world and get some food. Get back to life. Damn yay life. Food. Uh, life. Let's reserve the yay food until we try it and see if it's any good. Then, then. We're going to go to Bubba's? Or gonna... Bubba's, the new place in Skekomish that, you know, try and support a little Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Uh, All right, back to the world. All right, three days, two nights. No, yeah, three days, two nights in the Mount Baker Snoqualmie Woods Forest, whatever you want to call it. It's a good trip. We made it back in one piece, even if there was a major backup on Highway 2 because traffic. I don't know. But now it's time to clean up, put all this crap away.